back with another bank account. Hey, I appreciate everybody that tuned in and shouted me. Monday morning, we out here trying to get to the grind, as you can see. Let Big Bertha warm up. You know, it's cold out here in Mississippi. I think we got down to uh, 39 degrees this morning, I believe. And so, you know, uh, we out here just trying to make it do and get ready to head to the woods. Got a real late start this morning because my heater was out in the truck. Uh, so I had to come up here and try to fix it. And now I'm getting ready to head to the woods. And gotta have that lunch pack. And I'm gonna recommend this book to y'all. Um, called No More Excuses by uh, Tony Evans. It's a 90 day devo devotional for me, and man. Real great book. I've been putting time in it, put, working on it. And uh, we getting ready to get on the body here, y'all. Yep. Get up in that thing, right? Got the truck clean the weekend. Notice that the guy put acid on it. And it don't. It ain't. It ain't to my liking. Uh, but other than that, though, it looks pretty good. This ain't what I like. I don't like the acid on there. So we want to get this thing polished out. And uh, I just don't like that. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, it's your boy Biggie. Let me get in here and get situated. And I'm gonna get back with y'all. Peace. All right, family. I had to stop, give me a little bacon biscuit. Got some hot cocoa that I just wasted. Uh, trying to pick it up, the top came off. Uh, so, I was gonna show it to y'all, but I got a miss, I got to pick it up now. <laughs> but anyway, man, uh, let's talk about me uh, coming to work late. Cause I know a lot of y'all are gonna be like, well, you can't get it done like that. Y'all, sometimes you got to use common sense to work. You know, I get in the woods early, man. Four o'clock, three o'clock in the morning sometimes. And it does you no good to sit in the woods freezing now because you ain't got no heater, which I do now. And you still ain't making no money because the loader man ain't gonna be there yet. And so, and I'm pretty sure the loader was locked down from the weekend. You know what I'm saying? Cause you do have people still in decent and all this kind of stuff. So it was just, just common sense for me to just take my time this morning. And even if I got to play catch up all week, man, hey, I'd rather do that. But I got my heater fixed now. So that means in the morning I can get a good start on it. Uh, and what's going on with the heater is the little flap door, it gets stuck. Because, you know, one minute down here in Mississippi, it's cold in the morning, but then it's 70 degrees at night. So you kind of fluctuate between cutting the air and stuff off and on with the heater or whatever. But with that being said, the truck started doing it on me. With me. I've been driving the truck actually like three weeks with no heater. But I got up Thursday morning, fixed it. Well, I ain't fixed it. I just closed the flap door because the flap door not closing all the way for the heat to come through. So um, Brian was supposed to come to get the truck the weekend. He didn't come. So, hey, I took my time this morning to do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to use your brain, you know? And so it is what it is. But anyway, we almost to the woods, y'all. I'm gonna cut y'all back home when we get there and see what's going on, which I know what's going on, okay, by the cars and told me. So it's still slow. And hey, that's all I'm gonna say. All the longer, man. Well, y'all, we in the woods. And like I said, ain't nothing too much of nothing going on. He gonna load, finish loading Wildcat, then he load eight ball with a load of logs. Then he gonna put the gates on me and I'm gonna start moving the gates down to the new spot and move the loader down to the new spot so it is what it is y'all feel like it's gonna be a slow moving day with maybe a little log hauling later on we're gonna see how it go but i'll keep you guys informed man we finishing up this track i think it's about 22 acres so we finishing it it's up trying to get the date done well i'm trying to get it started so, hey, it is what it is. Nevertheless, y'all already know what we out here doing, man. We logging, man. Hey, y'all, we out here logging, man. Hey,
Alright guys, what we out here doing now is trying to get set up for the new hole that we get ready to get in. Got a load of logs on the ground. Box trying to figure out how to cut a few of them trees, man, because they done bust the water line and stuff already. So we just out here trying to make it do, man. Brian them out there moving leaves and stuff off the ground. The trees off the ground. A lot of sugar cane and stuff out there. But uh, we trying to get it done. You got eight balls sitting right there. I'm behind eight balls. We out here doing what we trying to do, man. Logging for real, you hear me? Thing what Fox trying to do with them old sugar cane is lay them in that ditch so he can get him some leverage to, to, to stand up a little high. But you see right now he's spinning. Because he's trying to cut that big tree right there and it's kind of like on the slope. Look at them local jokers. <laughs> you got Robert Charlie the eight ball, them local jokers.
know I gotta show y'all that old K dub with that flat top on it like that. He's a cool guy, I got to talking to him in there. It's a 95. Look just like mine. Mine's only an 89. Real nice truck. Real good nice guy that drives the truck as well. Shout out to X Gotti GPS navigation system. Man, check this out, y'all. They blessed me with a dog on trucker navigation system. And not only is it just a navigation system, but you can watch movies, you can play your music, it got Wi-Fi, you know what I'm saying, Bluetooth, you know, hey, it shows you everything you need, man. Look at that, look at that thing loaded. Ooh, look at here, y'all. Not only did it just come with a GPS, but it come with a camera. So I can see when I blow those caterpillar doors off, the camera can show me what they looking like. It come with a, it comes with enough cable to where I can run it from the back uh, license plate all the way up into the truck, man. Hey, I'm telling you, look at check them out, man. I've been using this thing for a few weeks now, just testing it out, and it's a real good um, product. Um, shout out to them, X got it for sending it to me. Hey y'all, hey go check them out, man. Go check them out. Look at that. Look at it. Destination to Caterpillar uh, Warehouse. Where I go blow their doors off. See, you can tell you where all I've been. Show you that I've been using it. You know, this just ain't a product that I'm just trying to promote and not using it. But I've been all in Yazoo City with it. Um, near Beaton. All that kind of stuff, man. Hey, the camera show real good. Uh